Welcome back, everyone. Sorry for the inconvenience. Um, I actually had to start this over three times in a row. Because uh, either my recording wasn't on, my parents called me for something and messed up the entire thing, which they do relatively often because, you know, parents. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, we are going to be unboxing something that I got from my neighbors. Not very securely packed, as you can see right here. This is actually unopened. And every time I want to go set up the recording to open this, I, I wouldn't even, I would like just get my hands on the box and then all of a sudden, there it is again. So I will be actually right back. Okay, sorry about the inconvenience, I just had to go get some water. Because I was feeling a tad bit parched. Make sure you guys have your water bottles ready at all times. So we're just going to go put that over. Time for, oh, oh, okay. So I'm also a, just to let you guys know, I'm a huge fan of coloring and drawing. And co well, coloring in my drawings, I typically love to use Copic brush markers. I highly recommend them. They are amazing. They are probably the best kind of Copic, the best kind of brush marker um, that there is out there at the moment. So, um, yeah, um, I just need a later in the series. I will fix these. Don't worry if your uh, OCD is going nuts. Just don't don't mind that. <laughs> I'll, I'll be fixing that up later, and let's, let's open it. Alright, so first off, bad packaging. <laughs> Very bad packaging. I received this in a bag, so, uh, yeah, not the best. Ooh. Oh. This is neat, I guess. Like a little... Little, uh, cheap markers that, uh pens that you get in that, um, scrub blue, or orange. Yeah, I mean, it's like one of those little cheap ones. Oof. I mean, it looks like it'll work. Uh, yeah, it looks like it'll work. Uh, well, I guess we'll just figure out later. Sorry if your OCD is going nuts because they're out of color order. Like I said, I received them like this. I didn't change anything about them before I opened the package. I, this is actually the first time I opened the package, and I'm actually pleasantly sur surprised and kind of uh, disappointed um, at the same time. Okay, so uh, we're done with this. On to this. Okay. Um, creative colors, pre-sharpened colored pencils, 12 count. It says 12 colored pencils. They're pre-sharpened, 12 different colors, great for school, home, and arts, and crafts. Be sure to look all the creative colors, quality, and school office supplies. Actually, this is not quality. Um, I've actually heard a lot about this brand. Uh, they're not very good for uh, blending. Uh, like Something other than like prism colors is something. Uh, I have used these before, so that's why they're all out of order. And sorry for the OCD. But, um, Prismacolor is so much better than normal store-bought ones. I'll, I'll show you later, like, in the next little short clip, our, our tips and tricks. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I can, I can see that they were trying to color code it. I can, I can see that they were trying to color code it. But then just kind of got a little messed up towards the front. Like, these ones are obviously different, and I don't know why. Maybe it was something in the packaging. Um, <coughs> um, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually pretty surprised. Let's look at the tip of... Alright, so let's take the green one of this one, 
And uh, why not the blue one of this one? And then we'll, we'll compare them. Okay, so let's do this one first. Okay, just as I suspected, it's like the common uh, skinny marker tip. Uh, this doesn't really look like it'll work well. Doesn't actually look like it works at all. Um, it's just a... Uh, it works the tiniest bit. Like, it works the tiniest bit. Like, it didn't even show up that time. It's, it's just the tiniest bit that it shows up. Um, okay. Then there's this one. Ooh. Ooh. Now that's, that's good. I love markers like this. If it is a marker, then it has to be one of the very fine tips. Um, does this one work? No, it doesn't look like any of these work, actually. Um... I can try curing it overnight, but I think they might have been gone. And then again, the um, actual thing is actually relatively... Uh, it's kind of disappointing, but what do you know? It's a, it's a crappy brand of marker. It doesn't even have a brand. Um, okay, so there's that. And we have an artist's sharpener. I actually love these. They are so simple like they're not one of the super expensive ones that have like the eraser and all that it's just a simple artist's eraser um as you can see right here let me just take the cap off i keep forgetting how to take these things off but there are two individual sharpeners in here like one could be for colored pencils and like my prisma colors and then another one could be like for my um pencils when sketching, I highly recommend planning it out first with an HB pencil before going over it with anything, before you're sure, because sometimes you will mess up and then your whole life, your whole drawing will be ruined. Like, your, your blood, sweat, and tears will just, that you put into that will just be for nothing. Okay, so next we have a coloring book. I'm not really expecting too much from it. Yeah, it's, it's a coloring book. It, what I do think is that they actually used it before because it is a lot thicker at the spine and then as it runs down, it just gets super thin. <coughs> so, um, I don't know what's up with that. I'm pretty sure they just used it. So, um, yeah. Ooh. Oh, and, the, and the first page is, is already colored. Okay. But I love paper like this because if you go to color it in, like all the pictures, hold on, let me, just so I can show you proof, I'm just going to grab uh, this one, this marker, it's the same one. Let's see, but I love this paper. Because if you go outside the lines, once it dries, you will not be able to see it. And then you just finish coloring it in or do whatever. And it's it's just really cool. I'm, then again, I'm not going to ruin this the first time I get it. Uh, it doesn't really look like they used it that much. Um, which is good. I like fresh ones when um, coloring. Uh... Filled with over 30 striking animal images from brilliant bears to cuddly cats, these pages are designed to become vivid works <clears throat> of neon art when colored with fluorescent markers. Complete with tear-out pages for easy display, this collection is the perfect way to brighten up everyone's day, so get coloring. Um, yeah, I like, I, I, I like this, it's nice. Next, we have the Mythical Gardens, which... You can obviously see there's a giant chunk of it missing, but uh, yeah, I guess that's a uh, hand me down from someone that previously had children. Okay, I wasn't really expecting 
this much detail be put into a coloring book for plants. But, uh, because I don't really color in plants that much, because I, I don't know how to draw plants. But yeah, I actually really like this one. I just love the mushrooms. I have an awkward fascination with coloring mushrooms. I don't know why. I just love coloring mushrooms uh, when I do color plants. So, um, that's that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and, uh, I, I, there's not really much to say, so, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll be posting, uh, another one after this, right after this, actually, I'm previously uploading, um, a speed paint of, um, the first page of this actually um of something in this book I, I don't know what yet it's just it's it's gonna happen after so uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed until next time i'll see you later cheers bye